As San Antonio gets ready to celebrate Day of the Dead, we take a look at some of the elements and symbols of a Dia de los Muertos. One of those symbols, the beautiful monarch butterfly. These creatures are said to represent the souls of lost loved ones and appear in Mexico every year around Day of the Dead. We went to the village of Macheros, Mexico, home to millions of monarchs. Located about two hours west of Mexico City is an area surrounded by mountains and trees, home to the beautiful monarch butterflies that take up residence here each year. Of the many areas of the reserve, Cerro Pelon is considered to be among the best places to see them. This is the place where the monarch, monarch migration was confirmed, um, so it's the original sanctuary. It's the least developed and the most pristine and I think the most beautiful. Ellen Sharp and her husband Joel run a B&B in the village of Macheros at the entrance of Cerro Pelon. On this February day, they're taking a group of mostly Canadians and Americans to a remote area of the reserve. In fact, the best way to access it is on horseback. The closer we get to the top of the mountain, the more and more butterflies you begin to see. And the best way I can describe it is like snow. The butterflies are just coming out of the sky from every direction, and it truly is a sight to behold. The monarchs, which are said to represent the souls of the deceased, migrate from Canada. Their arrival at this specific spot, beginning every day of the dead, said to be a bit of a mystery. Why did the butterflies come here? Uh, well, nobody knows, I think. Uh, but I think they're trying to escape the winter in the United States and Canada, so that's why they come here. For those who have traveled here from other countries, seeing them in person is an unforgettable experience. Yeah, it's one of the sort of wonders of the world, you know, there's the so-called whatever, seven wonders of the world. This has to be replacing a couple of those because it's these living critters that are so amazing, beautiful, elegant, and what they do is just amazing. I think it gives me hope, you know, with, there's <laughs> yeah. so many dire things going yeah, yeah. on with our climate and, and to see this going on, it makes you feel that somehow we're going to get past it and it's going to be okay. And coming up tomorrow on the Night Beat, we'll tell you about the Texas's role in the monarch's migration and how you can help ensure their survival. And of course, don't forget, KSAT will be presenting a special two-hour Day of the Dead virtual event. It'll be from 8 o'clock to 10 p.m. on Friday, October 30th.